I've always looked for straight digital from the very beginning. That's what I wanted to grow in my laboratory. And the way that digital has changed in the Crown and Bridge world brought a lot of new opportunities, a lot of growth. And so now with Digital Dentures, it's, it's gonna take my laboratory to another level. With the InLab 20 software, what I really like is that we have the abilities now to not be limited. So if I wanted to purchase 3D teeth and then you know mill out the base or print out the base, I'm able to bond those together. Or if I want to just design and mill out my own teeth and then bond that way, you know we're not we're not limited to one way. The Enios X5 scanner for me, it's always been one of the easiest scanners to work with. So now that we incorporate the denture scanning. You know, I mean, it just, it, it, it's a really simple flow. We have the ability to uh, use a holder and then put the bite blocks in there and it's, it just scans it in one seamless kind of flow. One of the things that I like about the InLab 20 software when it comes to designing dentures is that we're already so used to it. You know, for so many years, we've, we've, we've seen the simplicity of how InLab works from start to finish. It's more or less like next, next, next. So with the denture software, anybody that's already been doing all on fours or using the software, it, the transition to doing dentures, it's like a snap of your finger. The ability to move the teeth, the ability to, to place them exactly where you want them to be, and then it proposes, and then the gingiva, you can move it around, you can smooth it. The design software is pretty smooth. When you're working with the individual teeth, you know, sometimes there's not enough room, and so some of the teeth have to be, you know, placed in a perfect position. If not, the software doesn't really know what to do. Being able to have the other option, which is the individual teeth, where you can mill it, it actually allows you to have difficult cases where there's not that much room, and you can actually, you know, propose it using that method or the other method. If, if one doesn't work, well, then, then you have the backup plan. If I want my doctors to believe in digital dentures, I have to find the materials that they will also believe in. And Lucitone 99 was always my, my, my go-to, you know, acrylic. So now that we're able to print, you know, with the Lucitone printed material, I mean, I, I, I saw that and the first thing I did was throw it across the room just to see what happens. And I could not believe the strength. So I'm very excited about that. You know, when I first got into digital dentistry, I wanted to choose a company that brought it all together. So the only company that was really complete was DS. It brought in the materials and it brought in the equipment. They're, they are digital. And now with Digital Dentures, I also want to join a company that brings it all together, not just from our laboratory side of things, you know, from the doctor's side and from the laboratory. The collaboration between both parties have to be smooth. And I think that the digital dentures that we're gonna be working on, you know, moving forward, it's just gonna be a smooth transition.